Okay, a uh, student asked me to do these problems, so I'm just going to show you how to do these four really quick. Uh, I'm not actually going to plug them into the calculator or anything. I'm just going to show you how to set them up and solve them. All right, so 26. Let's see this one first. You're asking for AC. Let's just call it X to make our life easy. The angle they give us is angle B. So it looks like X is opposite of my reference angle of 36, and this is the hypotenuse. Well, remember... I'll write it up here at the top because we're going to use this a bunch. The acronym that we use for trig is so ka toa So here I have the opposite and the hypotenuse. That means I'm using sine. So let's go ahead. Let's set it up. With, the, with my trig function every time, I put in the angle. This angle is 36 degrees. And then sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite here is x. The hypotenuse is 23.5. Okay, this is just algebra now. From here it's just algebra. So I have x divided by 23.5. I don't want it divided by 23.5. I want it all by itself. So I multiply both sides by 23.5. Having a hard time writing the 5. This cancels out the 23.5 and this is your answer. You're just going to plug this right into the calculator just like this. 23.5 times the sine of 36. Boom. All right, let's do 27. Um, okay, AC. AC again is X. Now my reference angle is down here. So this is the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. Well, the adjacent and the hypotenuse, that's cosine, right? Adjacent hypotenuse. So, same idea. I'm going to set it up. The cosine of my angle looks like it's 54 equals the adjacent which is x over the hypotenuse which is 13.6 again my x is being divided by 13.6 I don't want it to be divided by 13.6 so I'm going to multiply both sides by 13.6 these cancel out and here's what I plug in my calculator once again x equals 13.6 times the cosine of 54 make sure it's in degree mode and then just round to the two decimals, round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, two more here. Angle A. They're talking about this angle now. They want us to find an angle. Well, let's do the same thing. This is my opposite, and this is the hypotenuse. Okay, well, which trig function is that? That's still sine. So let's write it out. Sine. And now I'm just going to write angle A because I don't know what it is. Equals the opposite, which is 24, over the hypotenuse, which is 29.41. Now, this is the part where you have to know how to undo a sign. A lot of students think these are multiplying. It's not. It's the sign of A. You're putting A into a machine called the sign machine. And that kicks out this ratio of 24 over 29.41. You have to undo the sign machine. The only way to undo the sign machine is the what we call the arc sine. And you have to do that to both sides. When you, you have to just like you do anything to both sides. The arc sine does undo the sign machine. And so now you get angle A. So that would mean that A equals the arc sine now. That's the little sine to the negative one of 24 over 29.41. I don't know if that's hard to see, but that's Maybe this is easy. That's the arc sine of 24 over 29.41. I know it's a little bit crazy to see. That is what you'd put in your calculator, but you got to make sure you use parentheses here because the arc sine, if you just do arc sine of 24 and then in the parentheses and then do divide by 29.4, that's going to be wrong. So you got to open parentheses, 24 divided by 29.4, then close parentheses. If you close it too soon, it's going to be totally wrong. It's going to say, oh, I can't do that. All right, well, last one. Here we go. Again, we're finding angle A. So, angle A. Well, now it looks like we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. That's a cosine function. So, we're going to write the cosine of A equals the adjacent, which is 18, over the hypotenuse, which is 26.17. You need to undo the cosine again because we want to know what A is. We undo the cosine with the arc cosine. Okay. 
that cancels these things out, making angle A equal the arc cosine of 18 over 26.17. All right, that's all there is to it. I hope that helps. I didn't know which question you were asking for, so I just did all four in the picture you sent me.